Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the official opening of the East Africa Device Assembly Kenya, and of course the launch of the locally assembled devices. My name is Victoria Rubadiri. This is a significant moment in history for Kenya, especially when you look at Kenya's digital transformation journey. How did we get here? Well, we're going to take you through a walk through history, if you will, primarily from the perspective of communications and mobile technology. If you can remember, back before pre-colonial times, Kenya, of course, used more traditional ways of communicating. This was through smoke signals and drum to communicate and to preserve cultural knowledge. And then we cross over to the late mid-20th century. And this, of course, was during the advent of the colonial era. We saw the introduction of telegraph lines and the postal service. And these were key in administrative and economic needs back then of course, was the introduction of mass media. And we saw East African Broadcasting Corporation introduced, which used to relay the BBC News. That then, in 1953, translated to the African Broadcasting Service. And we saw a more localization of broadcasts in some local languages, such as Swahili, Doluo, Kilandi, as well as Kiluya and Arabic. But this was a very small part of the output when it came to radio broadcast. And then the 1970s to the 1990s. And this was critical when it came to telephony. We saw more accessibility when it came to landlines. But the game changer, ladies and gentlemen, was in the late 1990s. And that is when we saw the introduction of mobile phones. You could move around, talk to friends and family, even though this was more limited to the urban areas. And then we cross over now to mobile money. This was back in 2007, where financial transactions were revolutionized. You could now access your bank account and other transactions from your phone. And then we cross over to the introduction of 2G, 3G, and then 4G networks. It was a speeding up of internet speeds. Access was improved to more remote areas in the country as well. And of course, this was a perfect introduction to the government initiatives that we've seen, a push for adoption of technology. And we saw technology hubs being brought up all across the country that made Kenya the silicone savanna that it is today. But ladies and gentlemen, even with all of those breakthroughs, we still had some barriers, such as cost, data, rural electricity being an issue, which is why we have an organization like EDAC. When we saw Safaricom, JTL come together, and Teleone, as well as ITCCL. And let's take a look at some of the products that will be launched today. Now, I'm not going to give you too much detail because in the speeches you'll get the specs on these phones, but we have the Neon Smarta and the Neon Ultra. We have Sam from Safaricom to let us know what's so special about these devices. Thank you, Vic Thank you Victoria. So here we have the Neon Ultra sorry, and the Neon Smarta phone. This both phones comes with a 2GB RAM and a 32GB ROM. Good thing about this phone is that they have the latest version of the Android, which is the Go Edition. Another good version, uh, another good thing about this phone is that they have 4G connectivity, which is pretty much awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. So as much as we know the specs, I know most of you are wondering, when can we get it in our hands? Omari is here from Fiverr to let us know when are they available. Thank you very much. They'll be available from today on fibershop.com and on a fiber agents and dealer shops countrywide. Yes. Fantastic. So we'll be letting you know the exact price points and all that information you need to know. At this juncture, however, we're waiting for the head of state, uh, President William Ruto, to make his way here to officially open the manufacturing plant as well as launch the locally assembled devices. But for now, we will hear from the presidential escort band.
to leave my wallet in here. That's going to be what is necessary. Check to sound one, yes. One clarity, two sound check. Majaribia sauti moja one two. One check sound, sound two, two, two check sound one. One clarity, two sound check. Majaribia sauti moja mbili tatu one two. Yes, sound two, three check sound. Clarity two one check. Majaribia sauti moja mbili tatu one two. Sound three one check.
ladies and gentlemen, now that our chief guest, President William Ruto, has arrived, we are awaiting him to officially open the EDAC factory. This will begin with an unveiling of the official plaque, followed by a ribbon cutting. And then, of course, he will go through a plant tour and get to interact with the exhibition hall, the testing room, assembly line, among other activities. And then, of course, make his way into the main dome. It is important to note that this is the largest manufacturing plant for locally assembled devices right here in Api River, Machakos County. A momentous and historic occasion indeed for Kenya as it continues on with its digital transformation journey. Once again, we are awaiting our chief guest, President William Ruto, to begin the plant tour. So I'll take
Good morning once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to the official opening of the East Africa Device Assembly Kenya factory launch, as well as the launch of the locally assembled devices. As we said earlier, this is a momentous occasion, a milestone certainly in Kenya's history. A significant step forward in celebrating Kenya's digital transformation journey. As I mentioned earlier, this is the largest local assembly plant in Kenya, which will officially be opened by none other than the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoe Ruto. And of course, this plant produces affordable 4G devices for all Kenyans, and it's safe to say the most affordable smartphone made in Kenya. Another housekeeping item that we meant to mention. As you took your seat, you noticed a little green card. We request that you keep that handy. That will be your ticket to get a gift upon exit. Once again, if you saw a green card on your seat, keep that handy. That is your ticket to get your gift bag. Thank you. Two, 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 sound two. Sound two, one, check. One, two, 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 sound check. Check microphone one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Microphone two, check. Two, two, check one, two. Two, 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 sound two, two, one, check, check two, two.
Good morning once again, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your patience. And just for your information, the president is receiving a critical briefing ahead of his tour of the manufacturing plant. As was mentioned earlier, the East Africa Device Assembly Kenya Consortium is critical to addressing various barriers faced by Kenyans, such as cost of devices, access to data, the rural electricity issue, as well as income disparities. And so we saw the four partners under the EDAC umbrella, which are JTL, Safaricom, Telawan, and ITTCL, that came together to improve accessibility and offer more affordable smartphones. It is important to note that these are high quality 4G devices being placed right in the palms of ordinary Kenyans. You can actually get the devices today uh, in person and, of course, online. And we'll be giving full details a bit later on in the program. Once again, thank you for your patience. We'll begin shortly. Microphone check, one, two, three, four, five, six, microphone check, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, microphone check, check, microphone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, microphone check, one, two, three, four, five, six, microphone check, kaguzi wa sauti moja mbili, one, two, three, four, five, six, microphone check, check, microphone, one, two, three, four, five, six, microphone check, Ukaguzi wa sauti moja mbili tatu ine tano sita microphone check one two three four five six one two microphone check one two three four five six seven eight microphone check check microphone one two three four five six microphone check check microphone one two one two three four five six microphone check check microphone one two three four five six seven eight Ukaguzi wa sauti moja mbili, tatu ine tano sita, microphone check. Check microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six, microphone check. Microphone check, one, two, three, four. Two sound one, one two, mic check one two, sound two three check sound one.
Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the head of state is making his way to the plant as the official tour begins. This phase of the VVI Pier plant tour will be led by... <laughs>
has come out with the highest quality assured by the time they arrive in the palms of Kenyans. We'll be giving the price points as well a bit later on. We will resume transmission once we're able to link back with the team inside the plant. As of now, the president is wrapping up the tour of the testing room, after which he will make his way to the assembly line to participate in assembly of one of the devices. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, the president is being dressed in the EDAC factory overcoat. And the reason for this is safety reasons. It is anti-static. We need to make sure the head of state is safe as he interacts with the de devices.
President now entering the assembly line room as Michael Mutiga takes him through the process. The president now making his way to the live device assembly <laughs> line in the robotics area. Exactly. The, the bottlenecks will come up very quickly. So, excellent. You can see each each person has a specific task. Um, we trained. Um, we have now have as, as we continue to ramp them up, have trained them um, at a center. Um, and, and it's been a, a, a process in terms of then the practical experience as they get more efficient and understand the process a lot better. So, Your Excellency, we'll start here. This is where the process starts. Um, at the, we the president is now that show how we break down the component parts, assembly but they come from the stock keeping unit into this center here. At this point, the, the head, Glenn, uh, is, is head of and he now releases the component parts. So, Glenn, maybe you can explain this first piece. Glenn, how are you? Fine, thank you, excellent. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Curtis, Glenn, yes. process starts. Yes. The PCBA, otherwise known as the motherboard, mm -hmm. starts here. We prepare it by fixing some parts. Mm -hmm. The next phase day, we're, we're fixing a conductive form yeah? mm -hmm. that, that acts as a grounding. Electric mm -hmm. current flowing on the PCBA requires grounding, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're fixing the heat sink. It draws electric current it's important to, to heat, note right? that work so it draws continued the heat from the so it doesn't despite get the event okay? today. So, to the so assembly phase. continues mm -hmm. as the president wow. continues. So, so you can see we can, we can take you down the line, yes? Go that way and come back down. Okay. So each part, so here, as Glenn has mentioned, is a PCBA, is put, the, the main housing and the PCBA is put in. They have to put in some insulation because, of course, the PCBA is very delicate. That's why we have the chips and, and circuitry uh, on it. So they put some insulation against it. That's also the black you see here as the, as the insulation. Okay. Then the next component they put in, the first one they put in is a camera. So, uh, as you can see, uh, we have uh, several cameras on the phone. Uh, perhaps uh, you can explain uh, no, no, this camera. Okay. okay. <laughs> this this other one. Okay. So, you put in a camera. Yep. Another camera comes in here, Your Excellency. Yes. Your Excellency, these are our housing uh, components. So let's make sure that the, the PCB in particular mm -hmm. is maintained in, in position. Next, 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 like exactly. Next, we come now the screws. So now you've noticed we just placed the pieces. Now we start fixing like the PCBA permanently onto the housing. Oh, very good. Then next comes up is the sub PCBA. This component, Your Excellency, has the where the charger comes in and some circuitry, for example, on, 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 on the voice and, and, and the audio.
that then also has to be insulated because, again, it's going through to the electrical circuitry. We change the shifts every eight hours. This, Your Excellency, is the, the connection between uh, the PCBA and the, the main uh, sub PCBA and the main PCBA, but this will carry the charge. Some more screws. <laughs> Some more screws, Your Excellency. Yeah. So, Your Excellency, we continue putting on the various parts. So, we've put on the motor, you know, what vibrates when your phone uh, um, rings. We've put on, um, um, furthermore, insulation, the, the camera um, housings. This, Your Excellency, is your antenna. This is your phone okay. aerial. Okay. Right? Yes. So, so they, they now uh, put it, connecting it from the, the, the main uh, PCBA down to the sub PCBA. Um, and then it's housed. Ina, ina clip in ndani. Ukisikia ime clip ndio unajua iko sawa. Very good. So, unafanya hiki ngapi kwa saa saa moja? So, your excellency, once he's clipped it, uh, the gentleman here then now um, is that, that, that a ridge right, which hides it. So you can see now it's, it's hidden within that ridge. It uh, then comes up uh, here. In a song to the, next. the next level. So this is where the, the software parts start to kick in. So the ladies here now and the gentleman now confirm visually okay. That the pieces are in the right place. The, 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 the arrows in the right place, the screws are in the right place. Once she's satisfied visually, we we'll check here. This is now where. This is interesting. Okay. The gentleman can explain it. Then your extensive process now moves now more in towards the housing. So you can see the, the bottom housing is placed that's covering the sub PCBA. The top housing that covers the PCBA um, comes here. And then your extensive you begin to screw them on uh, um, tightly. Um, so this is what the, the people are doing here. <laughs> you actually see these are the larger screws for the, the plastic housing components, but everything needs to be tightened down. Yeah. This is where we have the robot. So the robot now does the small, tiny micro screws that you can see here. These are very difficult to do by hand. Each machine runs through by about 15 seconds to do all the, uh, the screws. Then it moves for both device uh, types. Okay. You can see another visual check um, that all the, the, the screws are in place and there's nothing loose uh, from a phone perspective. We then test, these are test batteries. 
So we, we put in the batteries and uh, SIM cards because there are a series of now software tests that need to happen. Which starting here is the okay. SIM card near testing. Uh, testing. Okay. Yes. It doesn't go out to the phone. Mm -hmm. And there's a point we recollect them at the back there. Okay. So this tests the the, 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 the pin and the software actually starts up from a from a, a phone perspective. This then goes into a specific um, set of tests um, that, that um, are set up by the software. So maybe, madam, you can explain the, the tests. Check whether the version this phone is using is the current one. Okay. Yes, and then the RF quality test is for the antenna. Uh -huh. You check whether the... The antenna is working. Yeah, okay. Working. And the RTC is for time. Yes. Whether the time in the system is running correctly. Yeah. Okay. Thank the you. whole field of tests. You'll extensive the test the voice ah. uh, that is actually working. Um, this uh, this gentleman here probably is has a record for the most selfies in the country, so he tests every phone that the camera is actually working. Okay. From a camera and, and recording perspective, um, the, t the tests continue. Handset tests, what passes, what fails, that the headphone is working, exactly. Your Excellency, um, as we head towards the end of the tests, you can see now this is where we take out the, the and they get recycled back for, for use on that end. Same with the uh, for testing. That's correct, Your Excellency. And then um, we do one more set of tests here. Uh, so we put in temporarily a battery just to test that the antenna and the GSM is, is working. Right? Other than your excellency, uh, more components now the lenses. Look at the back of your phone, the, the tiny little black uh, round things are here. Yeah. This is the glass cover, the glass protector uh -huh. you have on top of it. Uh -huh. um, and then this lastly is um, um, some last circuitry around okay. the, the buttons that you press on the okay. sides. Once okay. it's ready here, your excellency, it then now moves into quality control, which we'll show you. Doing the same thing, Your Excellency. Okay. So, so Your Excellency. So all the all the materials. Yeah. So all the materials. All the materials. Once they're ready, these now move uh, on for for testing. So the packing line starts here. So from the assembly, it goes into quality control, and we'll show you quality control in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, bear with us as we try to reestablish a link with the inside of the plant tour. Right now, the president is heading to the packaging line where he will engage with a factory worker who will give their testimonial on how their working experience at EDAC has been so far.
what does that let you mandika j in good manisha so oh. oh. okay yeah okay so so anyone in yeah. the company can tell us to produce for them oh okay you get so that so when you are talking about the man who are the editor because Packaging line. Um, so, uh, my colleague here, Karanja, will take you through the packaging line. Yes. Um, so, just before the packaging line, so all the devices go into quality control just to make sure they're running fine. From quality control, you will take that everything is working and they come back here into packaging. So, Karanja. Thank you very much, Excellency. It is a pleasure hosting you in this packaging area. Our. We don't just package phones. We uh -huh. With me is uh, Flo Makini. Hello, Rueda. How are you? Very nice. good. And these are the factory engineers, okay. uh, Leo and David. Very good. So, you're, you're, Rueda, why don't you explain to the president who is here and uh, what we do? Okay. <laughs> uh, Your Excellency, uh, welcome to the packaging department. Uh, you, as you can see, we have uh, boxes. Yeah. These are just not boxes. Where, where this was enclosed? I will come to that in a minute. Yeah. Oh. So, we are boxes. Yeah. Mm. We have about uh, 68 staff. Mm -hmm. Among them, 30 are women, and I am the team leader here. <laughs> And we are very much delighted to, to host you today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Your Excellency, here at the packaging line, we have 10 different processes. And here you'll be able to see these 27 processes are in three broad categories. We have first and foremost IMEI identification. The second aspect is the preparation of the phone. And then the third aspect, we, we package the phone. So three key broad sections. Here, um, what these gentlemen are doing is they are encoding the identifier, the unique identifier for the phones. It's a 15-digit code, mm. um, an international number that is unique. Okay. It is encoded into these devices. Mm -hmm. We then print that code to the devices. That's what's happening here. Uh -huh. 
And after once it's encoded, we also encode the Wi-Fi number and the Bluetooth number. Mm -hmm. That way, if you're on any Wi-Fi again, you're able to identify that particular phone. Mm -hmm. After that, mm -hmm. the phone is then now ready to be prepared for packaging. Mm -hmm. The area over there, as you had asked, mm -hmm. Once the phone is now encoded and ready to be packaged, we first and foremost put a protective film mm. to ensure that the phone doesn't mm. When it comes out of that room, it mm. comes out with this finishing. Mm. Very nice smooth finishing, mm -hmm. and that's why they have to be in that um, dust-free, oh. humid area. Okay. Okay. Um, we, if you may proceed. Now I'll show you how we package the devices. As you can see, we, have, uh, we are printing. This is where now the IME printing happens. We put about eight different accessories in this device. Um, maybe we could go there and you'll see that we have a big offering. We provide a, a phone protector mm. as, a, as a complementary to our customers. Uh, that way, if you are riding your phone, yeah, yeah, then exactly. So that if you're riding uh, on your border board, phone falls, protection. Uh, and this is what we offer here. Okay. The team um, is now packaging the various accessories, which include chargers, you have uh, your earphones, you also have other devices. Mm -hmm. On my left, these are cartons, these German are these cartons for packaging. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what not, and this is uh, what now is, um, this is what now the phone is packaged into. Okay. So the gentleman and the lady here are actually Hello. responsible for Hello. arranging for that. And that is all. So this is what I was saying to you, Your Excellency. Mm. We did it only for launch mm. because we were we did it fast. Mm. But now we can localize. Exactly. Yes. So, so we can localize those. Your yeah. yeah, Excellency, um, if we could, um, we want to show. Okay. So ni kaya Okay. Sawa. We want to, once the phones have... Yeah, we are here. We are here. Yeah, so Your Excellency, this machine here is an automatic weighing machine. Mm. It's a very, it's a quality control measure as well. Mm. So for instance, if I were to remove one component, mm. have the phone packaged, and it goes in here, this machine is able to detect a variance of weight by up to 5 grams automatically rejects it. A well-packaged phone like that one, for instance, when it goes in, it is passed. That way we are able to know that all the components are in. And it's a very good control, quality control measure. Um, my last stop with you, Your Excellency, is going to be here. I would like to introduce you to a company called Evans Wambua. Evans here is operator. Kenya. <laughs> 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 Kwa pari zuri, ni kamboa hile dipati mebebaki mm. ya hizi machines, mm. kwa pari hizi machines. Mm. Na ni kafundishwa mafunzo wa miezi bili, mm. na ni kafanyishwa interview. Mm. Kisha ni kapita mtiani, mm. kachukuliwa kama technician wa hizi machines. Very good. Kwa hivyo maneno yako kama rais wa Kenya, na heza sema ni ya kweli, we are in Astra Nation, sababu litoka kwa kazi ya mjengo. Nika kuwa teknisia. Asadi sana. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So, ulipatiwa certification ya kwamba umeitimu? Kabisa. Very good. So, wendi o operator wa hii kitu? Kabisa. Hii kiaribika ni mina tengene zanga. Wendi o engineer ya hii kitu? Eh, mi engineer. Your Excellency, thank you very much. I would like to hand you to... We could go there to the quality control area. Before, before we go to uh, the parking, before tests, um, including the camera, um, the sound, 
the screen, all the uh, elements. I think I'll ask uh, Diana, okay. one of uh, the people here, to explain to us exactly what uh, she does. Yeah. Very good. Diana, how are you? Fine, thank you, Excellency. Welcome. Yeah. Now this is the FQC, yes. the final quality. Here we check, first of all, the appearance of the phone yes. to make sure all the screws are intact, mm -hmm. to make sure the SD slot and the SIM card slot are okay. Mm -hmm. After here, we have 24 tests we are doing. 24? Yeah, there are 24 items you are checking. Mm -hmm. So these guys are checking if the lights are okay, mm -hmm. if the mm -hmm. SD is okay, the lights are okay, the mm -hmm. touch buttons are fine. Mm -hmm. There are people over here testing the cameras. If they are we have guys over here testing the charging of the phone is actually and uh, he's also testing the earpiece if it is working station We have the defects. So if there are any defects, yeah. here. If there are any defects you get, you put yeah. them over here and then they are returned back to the production to be, to be fixed. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's what we Great. do. Thank you Great. so much. Great. Thank you so Great. much. Diana. Yeah. Thank you, Diana. Welcome. Uh, excellent. Uh, the next stage is where we do um, aging. Uh, we do a simulation for five years. The software that we use predict how long the phone will yeah. last, yes. So it's done within a uh, half, but it simulates the process uh, for five hours, so it's for five years. Um, just, uh, yeah. yeah. We're just briefly looking now. Uh... Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? Yes. So this is uh, Dennis. Um, you can explain to us how they do the aging uh, test. And so, quickly, uh, so you, 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 you of all phones or every, every single phone, phone. Every, every phone, single every phone. phone. Yeah. After assembly must pass through here. Mm. So you do the six tests. That's the reboot, the vibrate, receiver, speaker, and mm. picture and video. Mm -hmm. So it will be submitted to two hours. Mm. You must run for two hours for in the charging mm -hmm. system. Okay. Then after here, uh, you take them to the FTC room where you are coming from. Mm. So then we test all the functionalities of all the phone is working uh, properly. Okay, then after that, let's go Okay, thank you, Dennis. Uh, to the warehouses. Um, so when the uh, components come to the main warehouse, and then we have um, an inventory control warehouse mm -hmm. before the items are taken for assembly to the plant. Mm -hmm. So that is... Uh, Um, so, um, okay. so, this is so this is the broken down components before they're taken for assembly. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then the main warehouse now, where the items that are received uh, from the suppliers this comes is the here. Epoxy, yeah? Yeah, yeah, this is epoxy. epoxy. Yes, this is epoxy. So these are now. These are now the raw materials. Okay. The, yes, the main the warehouse for the raw materials, the SKDs. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then at the back. Uh, yeah, the, the SKDs, S S Femi, knockdown kits. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Then another yeah. battery, we'll a battery room. Later. We are now, now we are doing completion here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Assembly is a completion. Yeah. 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 This is the finished uh, product. Mm -hmm. um, so all this is the finished product. Mm. Okay. Oh, this is good. So this is now ready for uh, the market. The finished product. product okay. Yes. Skuma, uh, So let me introduce you to the management and the, the board of the, the excellence. We have our 
Yeah, you can remove. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of state now being introduced to the EDAC chair and board and management as well after completing the plant tour. A comprehensive tour of the various components of this manufacturing plant. From the exhibition hall to the assembly line, and then, of course, the packaging line as well. This now completing the full tour of the EDAC manufacturing plant. They will now take a photo with the EDAC board and management. And we have Safaricom CEO, Mr. Peter Ndegwa, handing over one of the devices to the president. Fantastic finished product, the Neon Ultra, and of course, the Neon Smarta, both ready for purchase from today. And we also have the Jami Telco CEO handing over the phone to the president as well. Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nakumicha will also receive a device, and this is critical because the Ministry of Health is the first purchaser of the devices for the health promoters that begin their work. Fantastic. This is the second consignment going to the Ministry of Health today. We must mention over 100,000 devices purchased by the Ministry of Health. The head of state now exiting the plant as he makes his way into the main dome. Please be upstanding as we welcome the head of state, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoe Ruto. You're welcome to welcome him with a clap when he walks in, as we like to do in Kenya, so to tam karibisha kwa makofi. Sindio? Karibu sana mweshimi wa rais wa jamuri ya Kenya. Karibu sana, karibu, karibu, karibu. Welcome, Your Excellency. And with your permission, Your Excellency, allow me to now call on Carol Simba to lead us in a short word of prayer 
before we proceed with the rest of the program. Carol Simba, Karibu. Let us pray. Almighty God, with pro profound humility and deep appreciation, I stand before you, full of gratitude for your goodness and gracious love. Today we are blessed to witness our aspirations for a digitally inclusive nation come to fruition as we launch this device assembly plant. We pray that you wholesomely bless the women and the men who put their resources, thought, and effort into the actualization of this vision. As we embark on assembling affordable phones that will enable each and every Kenyan enjoy the benefits of digital inclusion, we ask that you favor us with your divine providence. We dedicate this uh, facility to you and pray that you enrich the lives of the workers employed here with countless opportunities and interminable resources. Bless our president and other leaders present with strength and wisdom, purpose and insight. May they, faithful, uh, may they be faithful stewards of the divine work you have called them to do. Bless our nation with peace and prosperity, our citizens with health and happiness, and our institutions with strength and stability. We submit the agenda of the day before you. May you steer us in your desired direction. Guide us, O oh God, on this day and forever. And let us all say amen. amen. May we kindly take our seats. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the CSICT, Honorable Eli Dawalo, the CS Health, uh, Susan Nakumicha, all PSs present, ADAC Director, Mr. Michael Mutiga, Safaricom CEO, Mr. Peter Ndegwa, stakeholders, business partners, invited guests, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, with your permission, allow me at this point to invite the EDAC Director, Mr. Michael Mutiga, to make a few uh, comments, and then we proceed with the rest of the program. Why don't we welcome him with a clap, Mr. Mutiga? Good morning. Your Excellency the President, Dr. William Ruto, in the interest of time, kindly allow me to please write on all the protocols already observed by Mr. Kitango. On behalf of the Board of Directors, the project and management teams, it is a great pleasure to stand here and say we welcome you to the East Africa Device Assembly Kenya factory. The idea of local device assembly was a vision of three people who will all be speaking today. These individuals, almost exactly a year ago, posed a very simple question. How do we ensure more Kenyans have access to devices that will enable them fully participate in the digital age? This discussion crystallized in what you have here today, EDAC. Your Excellency, Bringing the vision of a local assembly to factory to life has been an undertaking of a consortium, spearheaded by Safaricom and our partners Jamie Telcom, as well as the industrial technology and trading company, ITTC. It was through a competitive process that we selected TeleOne as an original equipment manufacturer. They are represented here today by the chief executive, Mr. Ran Hao Lin. Uh, where's Ran Hao? Mr. Ran Hao Lin, who has flown in, from, flown in from China to be here for this event. The 12 months have seen the joint venture partners undertake a collaborative and intricate process from the design of the factory, reviewing device specifications, legal and legislative reviews, the procurement of equipment, the hiring and training of over 300 Kenyans, some of whom, Your Excellency, you met during the tour, the construction and engineering works, all needed to bring this factory to life. Your Excellency, your government has been very supportive throughout the execution of this vision. 
the Cabinet Secretary for ICT and Digital Economy, Elliot Awalo, his senior team, as well as seniors from the Communications Authority, have visited this site many times. Though I do suspect that when CS Awalo first came here on the 28th of June and found six large empty warehouses, he may have had some concerns about whether or not we'd be able to deliver uh, the project. In addition to the ICT ministry, this project has been made possible with support of many partners. The government, the county government of Machakos, represented here um, by the, the governor, I believe, um, supported us with permits and improvements on the road. The National Treasury, working in conjunction with the Kenya Revenue Authority, um, supported us through the policy changes needed to make this possible. We had a dedicated team of advisors. We had PwC supporting us through the tax and import consideration. We had ENS Africa supporting us as legal counsel. Um, and global, Africa Global Logistics through the logistics of having over 100,000 individual component pieces brought in for the assembly. Your Excellency, today we recognize that today is just a start. The board, management, and project team have worked tirelessly over the last few months, but also appreciate that it's not a time yet to rest. There's a lot more that can be done. There's an opportunity to look at exports, an opportunity to look at widening the device specifications locally assembled. We also want to take on the challenge of capturing more of the assembly value chain here in the country by creating opportunities for Kenyans to develop the parts that are needed for the assembly. In summary, Your Excellency, today, while there's work to come, we simply take pride in welcoming you and our distinguished guests and saying welcome to EDAC and we look forward to playing our role in the country's digital and economic transformation. Karibu Sana, once again. Thank you very much, sir. And with your permission, Your Excellency, at this point, I would like now to invite the CEO Safaricom, Mr. Peter Ndegwa, to also make some remarks. Welcome, sir. Your, Your Excellency, uh, the President, uh, William, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, uh, President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, and I'll do the same, I'll ride on all protocols uh, previously uh, given. So good morning, everyone. Um, it gives me great pleasure uh, to be here uh, this morning, uh, Your Excellency, as we launch uh, the device assembly plant, which is a first in Kenya in the way it has been constructed but also in the way that we have brought it to life. Uh, mobile uh, technology has come a long way uh, since the early 2000s. Uh, with the current high mobile penetration uh, of all devices, all kinds of devices, it's hard to imagine a life without one. Um, we have all witnessed and experienced at a personal level, also at a society level, the transformative power uh, of the mobile phone. However, and that's why we are here, Your Excellency, access to 4G devices, in particular smartphones, that allow individuals uh, to, uh, to, to, to take full advantage of the internet uh, still remains considerably low. Most Kenyans estimated at more than 60% are still using feature phones, namely Kamwizi uh, type. Um, this is why we are here today to change this narrative. Uh, as Safaricom, we are about transforming lives, but partnerships are the foundation of the way that we have operated uh, in our past, and that's why we, are, we have been successful. We always seek to foster an environment of collaboration uh, to meet the changing needs, uh, expanding customer needs, but also addressing societal challenges. So this partnership with local mobile operators and international device manufacturers is a step uh, in accelerating access to high quality uh, 4G devices across the country. Uh, and this uh, factory uh, will, will be 
um, can be anywhere in the world. So we are delighted that it is here in Kenya. So our aim in Safaricom is to connect, uh, because of being a mobile operator, up to 20 million uh, customers, or more than 20 million customers, with 4G enabled devices by 2025. I thought I would have a, a, a louder clap for that. Uh, we are also here in support of the government digitization agenda, Your Excellency. Uh, and we know that that cannot be successful if we do not have smartphones. We believe the smartphone in everyone's hand uh, will act as the pathway to accessing government services and also endless possibilities on the internet. So, Your Excellency, we've enabled Kenyans access the, the transformative power of technology and the internet. In partnership with Google, which is what I was explaining to you earlier, we offer affordable smartphones payable in installments on a pay-as-you-go basis, which we call Lipa Mdogo Mdogo. And our intention is that having now started to produce local devices, we will start to undertake uh, uh, pay-as-you-go financing for those who will start buying the local devices. Uh, for, our, for our case, we have already sold a million uh, devices to customers who have benefited since March uh, this year. Uh, so the program works, and, and actually it attracts a lot of people who live in the, uh, in the rural areas and all more, more marginalized uh, population. We have since expanded this initiative and partnered with other manufacturers to include more smartphones, uh, and, and we will continue to do that, especially now that we are having local devices. Uh, and we continue, because this is important, it's not just the device, but it's also the cost of mobile data. We continue to reduce mobile, uh, the cost of mobile data whilst investing in the network to increase coverage. The fiber network is also important, uh, which we have 14,000 uh, kilometers of fiber coverage. We'll also continue to enhance the digital literacy through partnership because you have the mobile phone, you have the accessible data, but also you need to allow people to understand how they use the internet for their own uh, benefit. So this assembly plan will have an impact on various sectors of the economy. For instance, healthcare. I'm delighted to say that our first customer uh, of the locally assembled devices is the Ministry of Health. And uh, we are really happy, and I presented, I presented uh, a device as uh, a symbolism of, uh, uh, or to, to Madame CS, uh, because you are our largest customer and our initial customer. Uh, and these devices will be used to support the community health promoters uh, program, which you have launched recently, and which will make a big difference. Now, Your Excellency, I wanted just to, to touch on one or two industry issues. The industry has collectively invested in modern infrastructure that is widespread across the country. To support your government agenda of uh, target of laying 100,000 kilometers of fiber optic across the country, we seek your support in classifying telecommunication infrastructure as critical infrastructure. Today, one of the biggest reasons, I knew that will, will receive a lot of clap in the, because the audience has a lot of people who work in this industry. Uh, Today, most of the network, a, lo a large proportion of the network issues we have is because of fiber cuts, especially at, uh, during load construction. And also when people are constructing new buildings, whether they are commercial or residential, they will, they will put water, they will put access to water and power, but not uh, give access to, to fiber. So you have to come and do a lot of work post that. So there's a lot of work to be able to allow uh, fiber uh, communication infrastructure to be seen as a core part of the future. So I call on your support uh, um, in, in this instance. In, a, in addition to that, on the devices in terms of cost, we believe that subsidies are essential. Uh, it's similar to the way that uh, you delivered the, has, the, the fertilizer subsidy program. In order for us to access cohorts such as women groups, students, uh, any, any, any groups that uh, cannot afford. So in addition to financing, we need uh, subsidies. And we, we know countries like Rwanda are already doing $20 per, per phone in terms of subsidy. So we will look and work with others, uh, including de development partners and private sector players, uh, to support the subsidy agenda, to be able to ensure that everyone, no one is left behind. So in, a, uh, in conclusion, Safaricom recognizes that technology has the tremendous potential to unlock Kenyans' economic growth, solve society issues, and deepen digital and financial inclusion. We'll continue to collaborate with the government towards projects and initiatives that serve and transform the lives of Kenyans. As I conclude, I want to take opportunity 
just like Michael has done, uh, to recognize the efforts of all partners who have been involved uh, in this process today uh, that has led in delivering the first of its kind device assembly plant in Kenya. It is such partnership that will, continue, will create the opportunities for economic development leading to improved quality of life. Thank you in particular to the ICT ministry, in particular the CS and your team, uh, and also uh, from across government who have worked closely to fulfill uh, Your Excellency's promise to establish the local smartphone assembly capacity in Kenya. With those remarks, I thank you for being part of this historic moment, Your Excellency, uh, and uh, uh, thank you very much, and we, are, uh, we promise to continue to be partners uh, in this very important agenda. Thank you very much. Um, so it's now my pleasure to invite my uh, counterpart uh, from Jamie Telcom, uh, Chairman Joshua. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, riding on the protocol already observed, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here before I start my speech, I, please, uh, let me tell you the story so that for record purposes, because it's an opportunity for you to understand how ideas can work, ideas at work. We, one afternoon in the year of the Lord 2022, I invited my friend Peter for a cup of Kienyeji tea, locally brewed tea. And we sat down and had various discussions, social issues, industry issues. And in part of the industry issue, we discuss ourselves and say, we need to look at ourselves inwardly as a country and particularly ourselves because we are in a well-paced position as industry leaders to discuss the challenges and solutions that can change and accelerate adaptation of ICT services in the country. We discussed very well. It was a big debate. We, luckily enough, we had empirical data. And uh, we finalized and say we need a partner in government. So we were lucky enough to approach His Excellency the President to have a conversation with him on the challenges we face as an industry. And he was courteous enough to be able to give us an appointment one morning, Sunday morning, before his official trip to France. And uh, we were there at seven o'clock. We sat down with him. We explained the process. And in the process, we agreed. that he said, we'll support the government, we'll support you guys. And we kept on discussing Vitu Matatu. <laughs> affordable smartphone, affordable smartphone, affordable smartphone. Amma inaitwa Mambo Matatu. Lakini yetu nilikuwa Vitu Vitatu. So, Your Excellency, and I think what your leadership, we must congratulate you and thank you for supporting us and believing in us. Your believing in us gives us confidence to think differently as we look at solutions of how we can enable this country. I think Nemaja's story, Gidogo Sasa, let me go to the written speech. Today marks a transformative moment for Kenya, an inflection point in our journey to become a digitally empowered economy. As we unveil our local assembled smartphone, we stand at the cups of an exciting new era where one that promises unparalleled digital opportunities for Kenyan, for whole Kenyans. It would be remiss for me not to acknowledge the invaluable role played by His Excellency the President, his forward-thinking government. Their vision, dedication, and unwavering commitments have been the bedrock upon which this initiative was built. Through favorable, timely intervention and astute policy decision, the government has created an environment where ideas like our affordable smartphone device initiative can drive. These actions echoes a profound understanding that technology is not more than just a tool, but it's a vehicle for progress, a pathway to a brighter future. 
we embarked on this journey with a clear vision to democratize data and make the dream of digital transformation realizable for every Kenyan, especially considering that today over 60% of mobile subscribers are 2G. And I will give facts. We have 60, 66 million SIM cards. But when you, some of you, you have two, three SIM cards for, I, for other reason or the other one, but averagely it is two. So we have persons, 33 million, who has a phone. So out of that, 60% of it is Mulika Muizi, has been uh, in Degua's reference. And so with immense pride, I can say that we are one step closer to that dream. But it's not just about a device. It's about unlocking potential, bridging the digital divide, and fostering an inclusion. It is, it's about ensuring that Kenya, irrespective of the economic standing, can, can access the digital world and the merit opportunity it presents, power mukononi. EDAC has an installed capacity of producing around 3 million smartphones per year. And I want to assure you, Your Excellency, that not only that we have the capacity to produce the smartphones, 3 million smartphones, with capacity to expand, but we have also capacity to produce routers, wireless access point, point of cell device, POS, those are POS, tablets, smart meters board for electricity and water, laptops, and many other digital devices. We have that capacity. With flexibility to multiply the capacity, the production capacity, we have ability to meet not only our local demand, but position Kenya as an export to the greater East Africa region. This, are, this is the second successful consortium initiative. One first consortium initiative was the issue of the undersea cable. When we walked down in 2009 in partnership with government and all operators, including Telecom Kenya, Safaricom, JTL, uh, Liquid, and uh, which other company there? I think those are the major companies which were there. And we are we able to create a, a project of, with ET Salat of United Emirates. We are able to conceptualize a project and an undersea cable. And today, everybody is bringing undersea cable, but the insurance for the republic is the team's cable. Uh, Your Excellency, the other thing that I want to mention is that recently I saw you visiting Congo Brazzaville. Nataka ato kidogo kienda huku upeange sawadi Give out your phone so we make sure that you constantly supply you. Ndiyo, ukionyesha hao nasema, ukiona ini mzuri, I will show you the place, pole pole. I know you are our biggest marketer, Your Excellency. And uh, I believe in you that you will be able to help us. The ripple effect of this initiative are boundless, from e-learning to telemedicine, from online business to digital banking, e-government services, this smartphone will empower individual invigorate business, inject fresh momentum in our national digital transformation strategies. We are also creating employment and positively impacting the community. We forge ahead to create this reality. We must be cognizant of the threat of cheap illegal import, imports, the potential to slow down or reverse the gains we strive for, we appeal to the government through the relevant government agencies to help us seal the loopholes that allows for entry of these devices into our market. We must deal with this threat very decisively for us to realize the full benefit of this venture. Your Excellency, unajua tunaskia, we listen to its stories. We have been told some come to some countries. I don't want to be specific to the country. And they do panya routes. And they paid around by, by phone 50 cents US dollars without avoiding paying duty. It is a very unfortunate. And we, want, we are willing as an industry to work together with relevant authorities to see whether we can adapt a technological approach or we can work with information system. Because at the end of the day is that we have ability in our networks to identify the IME number of the devices so we can really work together with KRA and the Ministry of ICT to be able to develop a long-lasting solution so that we can close these Spanish routes. Uh, 
Allow me, Your Excellency, uh, before I reach the conclusion, to take also this opportunity to thank all our service providers who has worked very hard, including the main contractors. I might not be able to name them, our employees, the technical team led by Mutiga and Cyrus, Sam and Caro, and the legal team, the whole team, on behalf, in behalf of, and the entire board for working day and night to make sure that we are able to have a factory ready for you to open today. In conclusion, on behalf of East Africa Device Assembly Consortium, I express my heartfelt gratitude to His Excellency the President, his government, every individual who has been instrumental in, bridging, in bringing this vision to life. Together we are ushering a new digital age for Kenya, catalyzing progress and laying the groundwork for a pride of more connected future for all. Kabla sijesema ya mwisho, unajua these things is very historical because it happens once in a lifetime and if you miss it, something else will turn. You know, he minister, your excellency, I don't know if I am in here. Ali Sumbua Sisi, Ali Sumbua Sisi, anakuja factory, anasema hii kitukani, we are opening this day, you happen, tunambia ngocha, ngocha kitu, wenda ambia mzuri, mzuri, ambia mzuri, your excellency, po. So, thank you, Waziri, for what you did. Your push delivered the factory. The other people I want to congratulate also from... If we have the Cabinet Secretary for National Treasury, Njuguna, Professor Njuguna and Dr. Chris Kipto, they facilitated a lot in terms of what we were doing. In fact, when we had a big challenge in terms of publication of East Africa a digital remission scheme, we worked tirelessly with them and it was effective. The other person I want to thank is my friend, who is our chairman in the industry, Mary Wamboi. Thank you very much for coming, madam. So, to close, unajua sasa sabu tumongea kiswahili. Unajua, your excellency, you are better than us because you know we don't practice all the time. Sasa nasema, thank you all. Asante ni sana. Mungu ibariki Kenya. And this Ibariki Kenya na Ibariki Uchina because it's of our partnership. With those few in the remark, may I kindly to invite our Honorable Cabinet Minister for Information, Communication and Digital Economy to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, before I make brief remarks, allow me Allow me to invite my cabinet colleague, Susan Nakumicha, CS Health, to say something, because she's an integral stakeholder in the rollout of these affordable digital devices. Karibu, madam. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, my cabinet colleague, cabinet uh, Eliudo Wallo, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to join you today in this momentous occasion for EDAC. And I stand before you as the first customer of EDAC. <clears throat> Your Excellency, allow me to demonstrate that before we got this gadget previously, our community health promoters used to walk around with a bag. With these registers, I have carried two because I was not able to carry the five that they used to carry. Now, this five, Your Excellency, has been reduced to this gadget. I am the most happiest on this day. Your Excellency, each of these registers used to record different information. Now, this gadget, we have an application called ECAIS that is carrying all the information that used to be collected in these five registers. This is transformative, not just for the country, not just for the Ministry of Health, but for the world, I believe. <clears throat> Your Excellency, having acquired these gadgets locally, we were able 
to go around. You know, our procurement rules, Your Excellency, it would take forever for the ministry to procure 100,000 gadgets. But working together with Safaricom, in less than two months, we were able to get these gadgets. And that is the benefit of working with locally assembled products. Your Excellency, we were able to cut down on the costs. From what we were getting in the open market, we were able to cut down by about 30%. So we had value for money, Your Excellency. But for me, Your Excellency, the most important that we achieved from buying locally assembled product. If we had gone to the open market, there are some things that we would not have been able to put on this phone. For example, it wouldn't have come with our application. But now, these phones are being delivered to us with the application that is specifically for healthcare, the ECAIS application, Your Excellency. As if that is not enough, we are working together with our partner Safaricom to ensure that these gadgets are geofenced so that then the community health promoters are able to work within the area that they have been allocated and they are able to serve the households. Your Excellency, it used to take forever for the information from the registers to be passed from one level of service point to the national level. But with them collecting data on this gadget, Your Excellency, each day at the ministry level, we are able to see what each community health promoter has done. This is a game changer for the Ministry of Health, and I want to thank Safaricom for the continued partnership. I'm told in marketing, I believe it's one of the biggest costs for Safaricom. But now you have 100,000 marketers. I believe as a ministry, we should be able to benefit with something from Safaricom for being the marketing agents for Safaricom. With those few remarks, thank you very much, Your Excellency, and congratulations to IDAC. Thank you. Thank you very much, Waziri. So, Your Excellency, all protocols observed, today is a great day for this country. It's a great day for this country, Your Excellency, because of your, your dream of getting affordable devices to facilitate inclusivity in the digitalization agenda has been achieved. I remember one time early on in the tenure of your government, Your Excellency, when you tasked us to oversee operationalization of your digital superhighway agenda. I asked you where we are going to get the money from to roll out these programs. And your answer is very simple, that LUD, you don't need money. Because as government, our role is not to compete with the private sector in business. The business of government is not to compete with the private sector, but to create an enabling policy, legal, and regulatory framework for the private sector to thrive. And based on that guidance, Your Excellency, we have worked through and through with the private sector in partnership to roll out our digital transformation agenda. When it comes to fiber, roll out of the 100,000 kilometers of fiber, we have worked with the private sector. Digitalization of government services, we have worked with the private sector. Roll out of the free Wi-Fi hotspots, we are now in partnership with private sector ISP service providers. So I want to thank you for that guidance close monitoring and tutelage, without which we would not have gotten this far. In pursuit of this digitalization agenda, Your Excellency, there has been a missing gap. The missing gap has been the device. Connectivity is only meaningful if there is universal access, Your Excellency. And in this regard, I want to thank, most sincerely, EDAC for helping us as government to close the gap so that we can at long last have affordable smartphone devices in the hands of the wider Kenyan population. In the same vein, Your Excellency, I want to most sincerely thank you, because as far as this digitalization agenda is concerned, you have led from the front. This is a major change program in government, Your Excellency. And any time you are introducing change, people will always be resistant. Had it not been for your persistence, and leadership, transformational leadership, we would not have gotten this far as far as our digitalization agenda 
is concerned. And for that, as a ministry, we owe you a great debt of gratitude. May I also, with your permission, Your Excellency, just recognize the invaluable input of a few individuals with whom we have worked very closely in pushing this agenda. I want to mention PS engineer John Tandui. He has been a key cog in our digitalization agenda. In the same vein, allow me to mention PS Bitok. Without consult, consultations and partnership with the Ministry of Interior through the State Department that PS Bitok heads, we would not have made much progress in our digitalization agenda, Your Excellency. I also want to mention PS Professor Edward Kisangani and all the CEOs under his ministry, especially the Communications Authority of Kenya, <laughs> under able leadership of the chair here, Mary Wambui. She has also helped us facilitate an enabling framework from a regulatory perspective as far as the telecommunication sector is concerned. With those many remarks, Your Excellency, it is my distinguished honor and privilege to invite you to come and talk to the congregation. Thank you very much. Let's all be upstanding. Let's take our seats. Asante <clears throat> Nisana. Um, distinguished, uh, distinguished leaders, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Yeah, good afternoon, actually. You've just crossed the line. Um, let me first uh, say how happy and grateful I am that. Today we are here in Mavoko on this very important occasion. Let me confirm that actually one Sunday, 11 months ago, I had a conversation in the morning with uh, two gentlemen, Peter Ndegwa and Joshua Chepkony, on the big subject that we had all uh, canvassed during the election about the digital space in our country, what technology would do, and how we can work together. They told me, Mr. President, all you have said is very good, but you will have one challenge, that this Digital, uh, digitalization and digitization and technology journey has the challenge of the number of people who have smartphones. And they told me, unless you sort out the question of smartphones, and not just the availability, but the affordability of the smartphone, you will continue to experience challenges in that space. And they told me they would do something about it. But they needed the support of government. And I did promise them then that because it was my priority agenda to make sure that every Kenyan has an opportunity to interact with technology and to benefit from the journey of digitization that I would go out of my way. I did request them to invest. And thank you, gentlemen, for investing. That is the power of the private sector. But I told them, as they invest, as government, we are going to play our role. We are going to make sure that there is a fiscal environment a business environment that supports investment. We did work with the Treasury, both on the local uh, fiscal uh, requirements and even the East African ones, as uh, Joshua has said. And on top of that, I told them I will do the two things. I will make sure that government policy is supportive 
And I also promise them that government will lead the way in being a market for your product. I am very proud that, gentlemen, you can confirm that I have kept my part of the bargain. I not only have uh, provided the policy environment and necessary incentive for you to invest, but as uh, my CS uh, Health has said, we became the first customer. And we have, we have bought from you 100,000 tablets that will be used by our community health promoters. And therefore, one of the most important commitments of my administration under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda is to transform inclusion by taking every possible measure to ensure that every citizen has an opportunity to make their contribution to national growth and development and also in many ways to benefit from that transformation. Accordingly, the plan has laid down the strategic framework of Kenyans to pursue their livelihoods and vocations more profitably and to access highly improved government services more conveniently and more affordably. So far, the response has been strong and encouraging. More land, for example, this year, was put under cultivation in this year's season and more farmers received subsidized fertilizer and other inputs, and including extension services on a digital platform. For the first time, we managed to cut out brokers, we managed uh, to cut out cartels, who normally gave us so much problem whenever we had a subsidy program. They would buy subsidized fertilizer, repackage, and go and sell it. But this time around, technology helped us to deal with them. And they must be very sad people because they, they, they never got a chance to pilferage our, our fertilizer. And as a result, we have this year's maize harvest, for example, is going to be 15 million bags more than last year. Similarly, millions of hustlers have been able to register with the Hustler Financial Inclusion Fund and received affordable credit that is not necessarily secured by anything other than their ability and their credit rating um, in terms of how they pay. And they can now grow their credits, grow their businesses, and meet other financial needs. At the same time, we are now able to provide Kenyan learners all the way from early childhood development and education stage to the tertiary levels of university, various colleges and institutes, as well as technical and vocational education and training with financial support and capitation in order to improve the quality of facilities, provide more teachers, improve the curriculum, and make education affordable in our institutions of learning. I was having a conversation with CS Machogu on the applications that now are online for all our children who are, uh, all our students who are going to our TVETs and our universities we had to work with the technology providers to make sure that it expanded the capacity for uh, the hundreds of thousands of, uh, of learners who are applying. And I am very confident and I'm very happy that technology had made, has made many things easy, affordable, efficient, transparent, and accountable. Our universal health coverage, as was said ably by CS here, is hoped to a very brilliant start with the recent launch of the Community Health Promoter System, which will provide preventive and promotive health services at the grassroots countrywide and facilitate diagnostic and early detection of 
conditions requiring curative attention to Kenyans from the comfort of their homes and in all instances free of charge. All these interventions have made unprecedented progress in expanding inclusion, enabling previously marginalized groups and households who are typically the most vulnerable and in need of these opportunities, both in terms of participation and contribution, as well as receiving support and benefits. More households are now involved in gainful economic activity in various sectors, and as the bottom-up economic transformation agenda gets underway properly, this positive change will begin to demonstrate manifest uh, progress. Uh, if, if what uh, CS Nakumicha is anything to go by, we are shedding off a lot of baggage and a lot of unnecessary paperwork and a lot of cumbersome processes and making it simpler because of the benefit of technology and because of uh, digitization. The provision of various services and opportunities to Kenyans has, re has relied on finding the most efficient means of expanding access and enhancing inclusion, devising the best modalities of guaranteeing security and reliability and formulating the most effective instruments of evaluating the nature and extent of need and fixing it using technology, digitization, and building of networks. Our farmers interact with extension services without leaving their homes or farms because extension officers facilitate them to register and submit relevant data to update, to update their input, what type of mechanization they want, what kind of diseases they encounter, and what kind of pest control measures that would make them much more productive, as well as all other needs. Similarly, the National Education Management Information System cons constantly updates relevant information about every learner and their socioeconomic background to ensure that the means testing instruments remain accurate and reliable in determining the learner's level of financial and other needs. The ASLA Fund has been able to serve millions of Kenyans from all walks of life, especially and consistently and conveniently and repeatedly lending billions of shillings in unsecured loans and recovering it without need for drastic, expensive, or time-consuming uh, procedures. We are going to celebrate one year anniversary of the Hustler Fund uh, shortly, maybe next month. And we, we have wonderful stories. In fact, I had an occasion last week. You can see my hair is newly shaved. So my barber uh, came to do, uh, to, to do some work on what is left of my hair. It is. And in the process, uh, he asked me, uh, Mr. President, um, you know, my savings on the Hustler Fund is now 5,600. Why is it the case that my limit is still at 5,000? Why don't you consider the fact that I have saved 5,000? Why don't you increase my limit? And it was a fundamental question. I have since put that question to the CS. I have put that question to Safaricom. I have put that question to all the other stakeholders in that space. Because we need to answer that gentleman, because the next time he comes to visit me, I need to have answers for him. <laughs> I, was, I was very honest with him. I didn't have an answer at that point. So, I mean, there are many Kenyans out there who truly know what it means to have access to affordable credit and how much difference it makes for their businesses. We have also transformed the provision of public services by making it possible 
for Kenyans to access them online through their mobile devices. Community Health, Agricultural Extension Support, Hustler Fund, and the National Education Management Information System are not only the only services whose provision has been transformed by digitization and automation. The government has increased the number of public services accessible through digital services to over 13,000, freeing up the people to concentrate on their lives and livelihoods and go about their business without the necessity of queuing, the necessity of traveling to try and access government services. And I must congratulate uh, the Ministry of ICT working with the Ministry of Interior for what they are doing around that space. I did agree with them. I gave them some timelines on where we needed to move. I think many people did not believe that it was possible to move government services substantially to be available on the digital space. We had only 320 government services a year ago. Today we have 13,000 and we are well on course in making sure that by the end of this year or shortly thereafter, all government services will be available online. Already, um, the digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode for the next two months. I have been assured by all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December, we will be able to launch digital ID where every Kenyan don't have to carry any paper, plastic or otherwise, as an ID that they should be able to be identified digitally using their iris or their fingerprints and we can transact without the necessity of people struggling to identify who they are. And um, <laughs> the most the proudest part of it is that we don't have to spend the billions that we have spent on all the other uh, manenos, as uh, all of you know. We recognize that this digital transformation will be sustained by significantly reducing the cost of digital access throughout the country. This is why our digital superhighway strategy is critical for national socioeconomic transformation. And in the first instance, we want Kenyans to access services efficiently through fast, secure, and affordable digital connectivity from the comfort of their homes and households. Secondly, we want more Kenyans to access opportunities to develop careers in the digital technology space by having the chance to innovate, research, develop, and collaborate even when they are based back home in the village or any mta for that matter. Thirdly, it is time to usher in Kenyans in their millions fully into the promise and possibilities of the local, regional, and global digital economy. The establishment of last mile fiber optic and local connectivity infrastructure as well as the development of grassroots digital hubs go a long way towards enriching the Kenyan experience of a transformed government services and digital economy. We are aware that the cost of smart devices remain prohibitive for many and that as a result constitute a significant barrier to universal inclusion and access to various services and opportunities that are intended to be freely available otherwise. To overcome this critical challenge to the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, we identified the production of affordable smart digital devices as one urgent priority, as I said earlier, that will guarantee the possibility of universal digital access for the people of Kenya to enjoy more and better services and opportunities in both public and the private spaces. 
the provision of affordable digital smart devices is no longer just about mobile telephony and fintech penetration. It is also about universal access to private and public sector goods and services as the driver of national transformation. It is not possible for transformation to be at the rate, at the scale, and at the speed that we want unless we have the devices to assist us unlock that potential. We have pledged to support this development by providing infrastructure that will spur digital signatures and the implementation of digital national identity. This message here is that this time round, we are going digital in full on a large scale across every sector because Kenya's transformation is going to be a digital transformation. It is just simply put that way. This event, therefore, has far greater significance in terms of enhancing digital experience for millions of Kenyans. The launch of a locally assembled smart device is a brilliant milestone in and of itself, but its broader implications for both public and private sector efficiency, integrity, and security that will bring out its significance in full is what we are waiting to experience. I congratulate the investors, and as I said, two fundamental things, maybe more, are going to be achieved by this device. When I see 300 Kenyans employed in this facility that will produce 3 million devices, and those 3 million devices will be 30% cheaper than if we had imported them complete as units. So we have the benefit of jobs for our young people and we have the benefit of a much more affordable product. I was also able to persuade these two gentlemen and the other investors to preload eCitizen, the platform upon which we are delivering government services on the phones so that every Kenyan who buys this phone will have government services ready on the phone and they don't have to go looking for it. Please. Uh, gentlemen, Muliniambia Pale, please. See, Tuna Tunakubaliana Ville to Mogbaliana. So, Mambo Mawili to Mogbaliana and Hawa Wangwana. Sio Yale Matatu ni Mawili. To Mogbaliana Yakwanza, eh, Ile Faida, Tulikubaliana and Hawa Jama Yakwamba, Mambo Ya Simu, and Bio Mananchi Wakawaida and Aweza, eh, Kununua kwa gharama ambayo inatoshana na mwananchi na simu ambayo inaweza kutumika kama smartphone wananchi wengi vile mmesikia hapa asilimia karibu sabini wananunua simu ya mulikamwizi kwa sababu ya gharama ya simu lakini hiyo mulikamwizi haiwezi kufanya mambo mengi ambayo mwananchi wa kawaida angetaka afanye haiwezi kuwa na data haiwezi kuwa na nini ni inasumbua sasa inakuwa tu ni simu ya kupiga simu kwa voice ama makelele <laughs> so sasa tunataka kuhamisha tupeleke katika hatua ya pili na kupitia kwa eh, kiwanda hii ambayo imetengenezwa hapa ya kwanza tumepata ajira ya vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya ajira ambayo ilikuwa mahali pengine ambazo hizo simu zinatengenezwa jambo la pili tumepata simu kwa bei ambayo ni asilimia thelathini chini ya ile equivalent simu ambayo tungenunua ya tatu sasa tunaweza ku customize hii simu nimesema hii simu ambayo sasa tume launch leo ni smartphone bei yake vile niliwaeleza wa Kenya ni dola hamsini. nilikuwa nimebagain na hawa jamaa 
dola 40 wameniambia lazima iwe dola 50 kwa sababu wameweka data pia huko ndani kwa sababu wananiambia hii simu smartphone haitakuwa ya faida kama uko na simu ambaye kazi yake tu ni wewe kupiga makelele ya voice wakaniambia lazima tuweke 10 dollars ya data ndio isaidie so that we can unlock the full poten potential of a smartphone it's good to have the phone but it's also better if you have it with the data that is going to support the usability of this phone because it's not just a phone like Mulikamwizi where you make uh, voice calls and namba ya tatu namba ine nimekubaliana na wao leo asubuhi nimewashawishi ya kwamba watuweke e citizen kwa hii simu ili mwananchi akinunua hii simu tayari e citizen iko hapo anaweza kutafuta na kufikia services ama huduma ya serikali ile gavaa mkononi sasa itakuwa ndani ya hii simu as a, as a, as a standard na nambari ya tatu mumesikia ya kwamba kuna nchi zingine wako na mbinu ya vile ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunarahisisha wananchi wengi waweze eh, kufikia kununua hii simu na kufaidika na ile eh, services yote iko ndani ya hiyo simu na capacities ya hiyo simu so tumekubaliana na hao wangwana tena warudi wapange mawazo yao na ideas na wasaidiane na wizara yetu ili kufikia Januari tuende katika hatua ingine. kwanza iwezekane kwamba mwananchi anaweza kulipa deposit ya hiyo simu na alipe ile pita ananiambia kulipa mdogo mdogo so hii simu ambayo ni ya karibu shilingi 1700 kuanzia Januari tunataka iwezekane mwananchi alipe deposit ya elfu moja na hiyo ingine alipe polepole shilingi ishirini kila siku tukienda mbele ndio wananchi wengi waweze kulipa hii simu mimi nataka nimwambie bwana Walo na timu yake ya CA na hawa wengine nyinyi mwenza sana muende mfikirie vile tutapunguza hii bei tena you know muende mfikirie what, what kind of collaboration we are going to work ili mwananchi wa kawaida hii simu ya 1700 tuweze kama tunaweza kuteremsha tena ikuje shilingi elfu mbili ama elfu tatu hapo mbele na tutajua vile tutashirikiana kwa sababu tunataka simu ambayo itamwezesha mwananchi afanye biashara mwananchi aendelee na communication mwananchi apate services ya serikali ndani yake na tuweze kurahisisha biashara kurahisisha huduma ya serikali na sio lazima mtu aende kwa ofisi fulani ama aone mtu fulani tunaweza kufanya kazi yetu vile tunaendesha biashara ya kukopesha pesa kwa hasla fund hakuna mtu anakutana na mwenzake hakuna komiti hakuna ofisi ya kwenda komiti ni simu na mwenyewe finish tunasonga mbele that's how it should be and that's how we want to deliver government services going into the future um, so i have said i congratulate all the investors my good friends in safaricom jami telecom um, our friends from china Congratulations, uh, the representative is here, Asante Sana. You have already made your mark and claimed your place in the history of Kenya's transformation. I encourage you to sustain this momentum of innovation in order to support and deepen a culture of digital enterprise, research and development in our country, and in order to deliver the dream of Africa's silicon savannah and the power of actualization of our development agenda. This plant affirms our credentials as a global digital economy powerhouse and Silicon Savannah's Africa hub for innovation and everything technology. I appeal to more investors to take similar decisive action because opportunity still abounds. Just on this factory alone, we can create many more factories we can create many more suppliers locally and i insist deliberately locally i have said that we must be intentional 
we must be deliberate about growing our manufacturing opportunities, capacity, and potential in Kenya. As I said, and we put it in the budget, we also put uh, the, the, the interventions that have enabled this factory in the budget, that we must grow our local manufacturing uh, capabilities, whether it is in cement, in steel, in timber products, in technology space, it must be intentional. I am very happy also that the conversation I have had with EDAC is that they want us to market these products beyond Kenya. I want to assure you that I will lead the charge in making sure that the products we get out of this factory, the products we get from all our other factories have access not just to the Kenyan market, but to the regional market, to the international market as well. Because we can make the finest of products. I am already getting information that our collaborators, the collaborators of uh, Safaricom and Jami Telecom in this, are already saying the human capital in Kenya is first class. And we have said that before. So we want to deploy this great human capital to get the products that we can use to drive our own transformation, our job creation, our export-led economy, and be able to uh, grow our economy in that context. Um, we have a pool of talent, as I have said, and human capital available on this side of the world, and a government that is ready and uh, that is ready to support initiatives that expand access and create jobs, and we want to make devices even cheaper using means like the Universal Service Fund and other interventions. And I am happy that uh, the people in charge of Universal Service Fund are here. You have heard my pronouncement, please work with industry so that that Universal Fund becomes truly universal by making it possible for more Kenyans to access uh, these uh, devices. I know when I mentioned uh, in one meeting, I attended a meeting of uh, Kenya Chamber of Commerce, and I told them that we were working on a program where we will end up with a $40, $50 device. Many people there were skeptical, like it is always, you know, because uh, th that is how we are. But I want to persuade you that the power of vision and the power of faith cannot be replaced by anything else, you know? We have many people who, whenever they hear me speak about the future of Kenya, they say, oh, William Ruta has made another promise. I made a commitment about the device, these phones. It looked like a promise. Today it's reality. <laughs> and it is because of the power of vision and the power of faith. So, you know, it's very difficult for people to see as far as what the vision entails. Many people look at today, at best tomorrow, yeah? And, and that is how we, we have so many Thomases in between. Who, uh, you remember the story of Jesus and the people who are told him, oh, Jesus, you know, has risen from the, death and, uh, from the dead. And Thomas was saying, ah, no, you have a scan. Let me, uyo mutu watu munasema ati, Ule tu alikuwa amechomwa na, na mkuki ati ameamuka. Ebu ni guze maali alikuwa amechomwa. You know, that, so that's where we are. But I want to promise you the same way Jesus rose, we are going to take this country to the next level. And um, that is the power of having a vision and driving our country, knowing very well that even in the context of where we are, we must never be distracted by the challenges that we have. We must see them as an encouragement 
to where we want to get as a nation because we must get there. Kenya is a great nation. Kenya is a great country, a country of tremendous potential. And this time round, we must get it right. And we must take Kenya wherever, it, wherever we want it. And we are going to make the decisions, however difficult, that will take Kenya where we all want. Because when I listen to Kenyans, they know where this country should be. The only problem we have is sometimes we don't have the courage to make the decisions that will take us there. Um, when the president of uh, Singapore visited us, and we all celebrate Singapore, we say, you know, Singapore is a great country, almost 90% of their population, everybody has a house, it is uh, moved from, it was the same category as Kenya a few years ago, today it is in the first world. When I spoke to the president of Singapore, he told me they made very difficult decisions. In fact, the minister who was in charge of their housing program, the program they are very proud of today, their signature program globally of housing, the minister hanged himself when he made the wrong decision. And so many people were forced to go into modern houses. They were very happy living in slums because many of them, I'm told, they were complaining, if you move us to this very smart slum, uh, very smart uh, flats on 10th floor, 15th floor, where are we going to make our Chang'a and our Busa because we are used to making them in the slums? And that was in Singapore. So, good people, we must change this country. I don't think we have another option. Yeah? And the young people who are pushing us, we have millions of Kenyans, talented, hardworking, educated. They are looking for opportunity. We cannot postpone their future. We must make the decisions now to enable them get the opportunities tomorrow. And I promise you one thing, I will make all the decisions necessary to make Kenya the great country we all want it to be, without a doubt. Finally, I like the mantra, Pawam Kononi, or that's what <laughs> this good gentleman uh, told me. It, it fits perfectly with what we are all trying to achieve a more empowered digital population with a capacity to explore all opportunities. Asante Nisana, I wish you well. And uh, even to my media guys, my friends, the good people who write many stories about me and all the other stories, and they are very good people because they are creative, they are innovative, you know, in, in what they do. I, I think, I still see you guys with the uh, iPads. You know, they are a bit old-fashioned. Uh, not, not iPads, but, uh, you know, writing pads. Now, this uh, factory here can make for you digital pads. Uh, you know? You know, you can make a story. Digital pads. And when uh, you make a story, this is good. It is okay. We, it's good for us. That's what society is made of. And uh, you will never hear me complaining about your stories. Write them. Ile ile ya ukweli tutaendelea kusoma. Ile ambayo iko na maneno imeongezwa kachumbari tutasoma pia. Lakini we will stay focused because we must take the country where we all want it to be. To be. And uh, they are also making a contribution towards keeping us on the straight and narrow. Ile kitu tu mnawauliza kwa sababu sasa tumewatengenezea factory hapa itawapatia digital hub uh, digital pads hata mimi mnikumbuke wakati muna eh, tangaza dividends kwa mwisho wa mwaka hata mimi mtumie kidogo eh? at least nimewapangia ka kitu si ndio so because we need a whole of uh, society approach 
and we must, uh, this is our society, and every part of our society matters in making us a wholesome nation. Congratulations to all of you. My very best wishes uh, to the investors in this uh, facility, and I look forward to many more. I know there is a whole chain. We want now the parts that we are currently importing. The next stage is for us to manufacture many of the parts here in Kenya so that we create more industries to work with this as a value chain. And uh, we must target that at least in the next five years, every Kenyan must carry a smartphone. And um, I also want to say that uh, this importation of phones has given us a big problem. I know we are battling with KRA is having difficulties because many phones are imported through all manner of uh, places. And uh, our statistics is that close to almost 50% of all the phones imported into Kenya, people don't pay tax. So I think one way of closing that gap is to manufacture all phones locally. So otherwise, thank you very much. My very best wishes. Good luck with what you're doing. And God bless Kenya. A round of applause for His Excellency the President. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for your remarks. And with that, I'll request that we just take our seats briefly. We have a short video that we'd like to uh, signify the commissioning of this gadget. So let's have the video immediately, please. Kenya, our storied and beautiful land. The technology hub of Eastern Africa achieves yet another key milestone in our digital transformation journey. Through the power of collaboration, Safaricom, Jami Telcom, Tele One, and Industrial Technology Trading Company Limited have come together to democratize access to smartphones for all Kenyans and open up a world of opportunity. East Africa Device Assembly Kenya is a huge leap forward in our vision to transform Kenya and improve the lives of ordinary citizens through access to technology. East Africa Device Assembly Kenya is proud to present Kenya's most affordable locally assembled smartphone. Presenting the Neon Smarter and the Neon Ultra assembled in Kenya and available at Safaricom retail shops or on www.masoko.com and Fiber Shops and Fiber Agents or on www.fibershop.com. East Africa Device Assembly Kenya. Power Mkononi. I am a coffee, a power Mkononi. And Your Excellency, you've talked about talent as we continue to prepare for the official launch. We have Sarakasi dancers very briefly just to show us their talent as we then get ready to have the commissioning of these gadgets.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Wapigie makofi one more time. Kenyan talent at its best. And now we are coming to the tail end of this particular ceremony. And at this point, I, we, are, we are going to set up the gadgets here. I'm going to invite the chairman, Jami Telcom, Mr. Joshua Chepkoni, and CEO Safaricom PLC, Mr. Peter Ndegwa, to come and demonstrate the mounting of these uh, phones. Meanwhile, Your Excellency, I'd also like to invite um, my co-host today, Victoria Rubadiri, Kumbe ukisema watu wa habari wako walikuwa na walikuwa nasikiza. Uh, Victoria, to just give us a run through some of the tech uh, air angle of these devices. Victoria. Certainly, Your Excellency, my apologies for my tool of choice today. I will do better next time. And just to take you through the devices, of course, they come in two models, the Neon Ultra, which goes for 8,999 shillings. It has a 6.5-inch display, 8 megapixel camera and then of course there is the neon smarter which is the little brother of the two with a five inch display and a five megapixel camera that will retail for 7,499 shillings shall we have a look at the phones now for now we'll ask your excellency with your permission to come and have the buzzer so that we have this officially commissioned and i'll count you down after five we shall press the buzzer and we have this officially co uh, commissioned so in five four three two you're welcome your excellency should it be spinning all right, and I'll request that maybe we just stand here for a photo opportunity before we come to the close. I'll also request that we have the CSs present to kindly come and join in the photo. Um, Mike to kindly also come and join in the photo. If we can step forward a little bit as we now come to the close of this particular occasion. All right, and with that, we'll ask that we all exit the stage except His Excellency, so that we'll finish with the national anthem. The rest of us can kindly exit the stage and leave His Excellency so that we now finish with the national anthem. I'll request that we all be upstanding for the national anthem as we come to a close. The national anthem. Thank you, Your Excellency. I'll request that we all remain standing and as we allow His Excellency to retreat. And kindly, the rest of us, let's stay where we are. Victoria will guide us on the exit protocols. For the rest of us, kindly, let's remain where we are. Victoria will give us a guideline on the exit protocols. Thank you. Thank you. You may take your seats. As for our government officials and chief guests in the first six rows, you may take your leave. Please don't forget your green card as this will get you your gift as you exit. Once again, those in the first six rows may take their leave now as we observe the exit protocol. Thank you so much. If you require purchase of the phones, we have teams on hand in the experiential zone who can assist you with that. Thank you. Wonderful. The rest of our distinguished guests, you may now leave. Thank you so much for joining us today for the official launch of the EDAC manufacturing plant. Have a lovely afternoon. Don't forget your green cards as you exit to receive your gift pack. Have a lovely afternoon.
Thank you. 